Hi, my name is Adam Anderson. I am an IR senior pre-med. Um, here in Zaleka, the refugee camp, we've had a lot of experiences that I wouldn't have been able to have. So Augustine and I were on maternity the other day and we got to deliver a baby. Um, it's kind of funny how it happened. The nurses had a lot of trust in us. They left maternity just with me and Augustine with the patient. Um, and the patient said something at Chichewa. I didn't understand. So I went over to see the patient. She was behind the curtain and out was coming the baby. So I ran over there, delivered the baby. Augustine went and got the nurse and the nurse came back and I cut the cord and everything. Uh, it was a really cool experience. Um, there's a lot of need here and just to be able to help out the community and the refugee camp has been a cool experience. I got to shadow in the OR and got to scrub in as a surgical tech. Uh, they were short people and the surgeon needed somebody to assist them. So I got to scrub in and that was a pretty neat experience just to have that hands-on clinical experience in the OR. Just work in the clinic, we get to see like with OPD, you can kind of see how being a primary care physician would be like where you see patients and try and diagnose. I've spent the last two days in the laboratory, so we've been running a lot of the MRDT tests for malaria. Uh, we've been doing cholera tests. We've tested for syphilis. On Tuesday, it was really busy. They say Monday and Tuesdays are their busy days. We probably put 90 to 100 malaria tests a day, but today we've only have around 60 of them. So. Okay, we're at the Zaleka um, Health Center, um, not technically a hospital because there's no inpatient. Uh, I'm currently at pharmacy with my friend Paul. Uh, we're waiting for the pharmacist to get back from lunch and then we'll head back in, pack some more pills, fill out some more prescriptions, um, lots and lots of antibiotics, lots and lots of uh, STD stuff, a few malarial things, a lot of worms. So that's kind of what we're putting out now. Hello, my name is Igor Papali'i and I'm majoring in International Rescue and Relief with an emphasis in Global Development. Hi, my name is Lorelai Plata and I am also majoring in International Rescue and Relief with a Biomed minor. While everyone was in clinicals, we got the opportunity to talk to the camp manager over at Zaleika Refugee Camp. And we learned like a lot of things about the camp that we were studying. And one of the reasons why we talked with the camp manager is because um, while everyone else was in clinicals, we were taking a separate class called Development, <laughs> Logistics, and, and Analytics. Analytics. So uh, we learned that when we were uh, talking with the camp manager, he mentioned that the original number for like people that were supposed to take in was supposed to be like 10,000. But uh, right now the population is like five times it's at 50,000 so like and 50, it's like 000. rapidly growing. Yes, and we found out that there were like, um, for like 50,000 people, they only have like 20 plus. Boreholes, it's like their water sources. Yes, so um, that's a big problem for them because there's not enough water for the people and there's like, not enough space for all of them. It's really like cramped and crowded. And during the rainy season, when it like floods, like the contaminated water will leak into the portholes. People will be like drinking contaminated water. No one's like fenced in or anything. So a lot of people can come in whenever they want to come. And a lot of criminals and fugitives actually end up going to the camp and like laying low there for a few days. That was like a big problem for them, especially when they don't have like that many security and guards providing security for the people. Yeah, and since it's an open camp, it's easy for them to like smuggle people out of it and like bring people in. While well, he's trying to work with like other NGOs and other organizations to help out with like necessities, like provide them with medications. We found out that since the population is like now five times the original size that they attended to, they're trying to like implement other camps around the area to um, move other people to. Like on average, like people will stay there for like at least five years, but it can like be like around 10 years. They can, like, and some like people like some... live their whole lives there. They have yes. families there and then their kids end up having kids and then they just end up staying there their whole lives. They're trying to have other camps around the area to like move people there and you know, that will like lead to more space, which will like solve a lot of their problems. Yeah, so like one of the things that uh, we, we learned about the camp was that um, people weren't receiving enough water. And something that that camp manager was able to do was to increase the amount of water per day that people could was get. From 10 liters, at first it was like 10 liters per person. And their goal was 20 liters But per now person. they're at 15 liters per person, which is like very good. So they're not like where they want to be, but they are improving. And I think that's really cool.
Dr. Chewbacca. Dr. Chewbacca. 